City officials now sounding the alarm over a proposed state law they say could keep them from tackling local issues. This is called a super preemption bill by city staff. It's House Bill 2127, and it would prevent counties or cities like San Antonio from passing ordinances in numerous areas if the state already covers that area. Now, City Hall reporter Garrett Berger tells us that a discussion over that very issue had one councilman lashing out at his business allies. That is an affront to our democratic process. There was growing alarm in San Antonio council chambers today over a bill that passed Tuesday in the Texas House. There will be 92 hours and 55 days. If House Bill 2127 ends up as law, cities and counties would be heavily restricted on what they can do about issues covered in the state's labor, property, and occupations codes, among others. Supporters say it's about regulatory consistency. San Antonio officials see it as an attack on local authority. To them up there, local control means they control the locals. We asked city staff for specific examples of how this would curb city authority, but they weren't able to give any. What we fear uh, is that there's going to be a lot of litigation because the bill's so vague over the coming years to try to figure out the answers about what cities can and can't do. Northside Councilman Manny Pelias, who has a business-friendly reputation, lashed out at the San Antonio Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. The same staff member who had testified in favor of the bill up in Austin, also sitting in council chambers today. I don't think a glib, a sm uh, smug smile is the appropriate response to having an entire council telling the world that this is an emergency situation that is going to hurt the city and leave us with a lot of questions. I'm really disappointed in you guys. The chamber's director of government relations and policy says they're against regulating businesses locally. Private employment practices, you know, such as sick leave, etc., um, are a state and federal issue and should be kept there, not at the local level. San Antonio's paid sick leave ordinance was already thrown out in court. The question now is what this bill could throw out or keep out, too. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.